and welcome to the channel. My name is Ian, this is Jane. Hi. We're reviewing the Edinburgh Festival of Fringe and so far this is show 28. I did finally manage to actually add them up. Uh, and this was my choice because I'm a sucker for a puppet. Uh, and this was Funny Guy. Um, Sorry, I know, I'm being very rude. I'm looking. You're trying to find it. I'm, I'm trying to find the, the picture. In, in I want to find copy. the picture. Yeah, right, okay. I'm going to read the description. So, a twisted exploration into the fragile underpinning of love, friendship and ambition as two couples chase relevance and meaning, a towering neon marionette stalks the stage, challenging them to confront the greed, desire and identity. Uh, and then there was a, there's a little bit more, but uh, that pretty much says what it does It does actually, and, it's quite um, succinct. And actually, um, like I say, I am a sucker for a puppet, but I... We were slightly warned that we might not like this one yeah. prior, prior to going to see it. Um, so we were slightly on, not, I won't say on edge, but uh, not quite sure what to expect. No. Um, what do you think? Well, I really liked the, um, all the delivery from all the characters. I thought it was so strong. Um, but the actor that came out initially it was almost, it was like a lecture on uh, business, how to set up a business. <laughs> and I was a bit thrown. I thought, I mean, because I thought it was really quite funny. Well, you understood it yeah, a lot yeah. more than okay. I did. And obviously, as it went on, the context was revealed and it was, yeah, um, it was completely relevant um, as the sort of narrative on, well, it, it was, but, but I have to say, I'm, I'm pausing because because all the posters and all the adverts showed this big neon marionette, I'm waiting all the time. Were you? Yeah. I have to say, I thought... When is that going to come on? I thought... I have to admit, at the right at the beginning, I thought, am I in the right show? Yeah. Um, there, yeah we have lots of little, little scenes, um, which I'm sure, I mean, could irritate so, so certain people. It didn't irritate me, but we have lots of very, very short scenes all the way through. Mm. I sort of um, slipped into that and I, I, I quite liked the way it was, it was, it was developing as, as we went along. I did. Um, I did. Because it became, yes, we had all the business stuff, but then it became very much more a development of relationships between two married these couples. These two couples, yeah. And there were some surprises along the way, mm. which we won't reveal. Yeah. Um, no spoilers. Yeah, and sort of, and then a reversal of fortunes. Um, ah, is that a spoiler? Um, Possibly. Uh, mm, not necessarily. All right, okay. Not necessarily. Um, but somebody is instrumental in that. Mm -hmm. um, and, and I did like the way that the narrative developed. I mean, I liked the whole cast. I thought everybody was really I, I strong. I, I did. Um, but there is a point at which <laughs> there is a puppet of You, you do get to see, I mean, I'm going to include the, the actual... Um, oh, good, the poster. The yeah. little poster yeah. image. So you will, you do, and this isn't a spoiler, you do get to see yeah. the neon puppet. You so, um, But initially, the only puppet that featured was made out of pipe cleaners. And I'm thinking, <laughs> well, they've got us here under false presences. <laughs> I'm thinking, what? Where's the neon one? So that was... I, I didn't think that. I mean, I, I I, to be I fair, I, I, I mean, I was, I, I was well engrossed in actual the, the, the drama of it. Um, yeah. And it, it, does, it does say it's theatre dark, dark comedy mm. drama. I think there was less comedy in it. There were there are some laughs in it, but mm. it's n I wouldn't have called it a dark comedy. No, no. It's a good theatrical piece, I think, really. Yeah. Um, yeah. By it, a very strong cast. Yeah, yeah. And there is this dark undercurrent. Um, yeah. Through it, which I think is quite subtle, actually. Yeah, it, it, yeah. But it, it adds yeah. to, to the whole dramatic effect. Yeah. So it's on at Greenside uh, George Street Lamb Studios uh, every day at uh, seventeen twenty, so five five twenty in the in the evening. Um, I'll t 
tell you when it's on until it's on until the 24th uh, the only days it's not on is Sundays so 11th 18th and well, the 25th is, uh, is finished the prices are 12 pounds phone price 10 pounds concession and 10 pounds family uh, but family booking is required uh, how many stars it's a good four from me. It's a good four from me. I thought it was an excellent mm. piece of work. Mm. Mm. Yeah. yeah, it is. It was completely different. It wasn't what I expected. No, it wasn't but I what actually, I was, I was completely engrossed for the for the full fifty five minutes. Uh, yeah. And I didn't get to see the puppet, mm. Mm. which. Um, but no, and I thought it was really good. And I think it it deserves bigger audiences. It does. It was a small audience. Mm. Now, um, hopefully, see you know people seeing yeah. this. We would encourage you to go see it because it's a very very strong piece and, of work yeah, and the, the person that we saw earlier we will probably see them again but i think they were wrong mm. by saying that oh yeah you know, i know yes it's, I it's not i mean the fact that both of us liked it and both of us give it four stars yeah um, and and i think it's worth saying that the um the company it's patrick nash theatrical and it's a company from new york yes yeah yeah um yeah yeah um, yeah, and it's a very strong. I'd strong love company. to go see other other, yeah, other pieces very by strong him, company. definitely. Yeah. Yeah, I agree. So thanks so much for watching. We've got two more shows today. Uh, we'll see you next time. Cheers. Cheers. Bye bye. Bye.